Do you want to make your audience wonder how in the heck you are showing up literally everywhere? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it happen by creating consistent branded graphics to market your content and help your business get seen, heard, and remembered no matter where you are marketing yourself online. Woo, that was a lot, but there are so many amazing things that happen when you put a focus on how you are visually showing up online. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Kristen, and on this channel, I share graphic design and branding tips, tricks, tutorials, and productivity hacks for personal brands who want to look and feel professional online. How you can create branded social media graphics to market your content I'm going to be using the Natalie brand image from my mix and match brand kits and I'm going to be infusing this into this set of social media graphics. Having a Canva Pro account will make this process just a little bit faster because with a Pro account, you can actually upload your brand colors, your brand fonts, and even upload your logos into the Canva brand kit. If you don't have the Pro version, you can still make this work, and I'll show you how in the tutorial. Once you have your templates open, it's time to start infusing your own unique brand image into them. So the first thing that you wanna do is change the colors. It is important to know that Canva handles shapes and fonts differently when it comes to colors. You're going to be changing the colors of your shapes first and then going through and changing the colors of your fonts. Select the color that you want to change. Click on the color square to open the color panel and this is where you're going to be changing the color. If you have the pro version of Canva, you can upload your brand colors and they are always going to appear in this color panel. However, if you don't have Canva Pro, you're going to want to copy and paste your color palette into an empty page inside your template document. This way, your brand colors will appear in the document colors in the color palette. So let's change this maroon color to the green color of the Natalie brand kit. Once you select the, the color that you would like to change, you're going to see a purple change all button pop up down here. Doing that is going to change any shape that was in that maroon color to the new color of your choice. You want to do that for each of the colors that are used in the templates. You can also adjust the transparency of any of the colors. Once you have all of the shapes changed, you can go through the templates and change the color of the fonts. You'll see the same purple change all box pop up down here in the lower left hand corner. That is going to change all of the fonts throughout the whole entire document that are used in that specific color. Once you have replaced all of the colors in both the shapes and the fonts, the next step is to change the fonts themselves. I'm going to pop over to the Natalie brand board. I'm gonna grab one of the font combo options and then I'm gonna paste it into this document. I just like to keep this handy so I know what I'm working with. But if you have Canva Pro, you probably already have your fonts uploaded into your Canva brand kit. All right, so let's change the headline font to Varela Round. If you want to change two text boxes at the same time, you can hold Shift to select multiple boxes at once. It's important to change the same font throughout all of the templates because you'll notice that it sticks right up here in the font panel so you don't have to continue typing in and going through the big long list of canva fonts to find your replacement depending on what fonts you're using your templates can start to look a little bit wonky at this point but that's okay we can go and adjust things later change the accent font i'm using feeling passionate some fonts at 141 pixels are kind of small and some fonts at 141 pixels appear a lot bigger. All right, so now that we have all of the fonts changed over, we can adjust the sizing to make them fit in the area a little bit better. This is going to change anyways when you actually create graphics for your real content. But for now, we're just getting these templates branded. I'm 
The important thing is when you're moving your text around to make sure it's all properly aligned. You can easily align text by sh holding shift, clicking everything that you want to align, going into position and clicking center or left or right. I'm just going through and resizing some of the text boxes so everything fits into the template. You can also copy and paste from one template to another. All right, so now we have changed the colors of the shapes, we have changed the colors of the text, and we have changed all of the fonts. The next thing you want to do is add in your stock photos. I like to keep my stock, photo, stock photos organized in specific folders. This makes it really easy to access them when I need them. So I've put all of the stock photos for the Natalie brand kit right inside a folder. And when I go into the folder, I can see that all of the stock photos that I have to use are right here. This helps keep me on brand and streamlines any graphic that I'm trying to create. You can start dragging and dropping the, the images over to the templates to see what works. One stock photo doesn't work, that's okay. Just drag over another one from your stock photo stash. You can adjust the transparency of the overlays to make your photos pop a little bit more. You can even add stock photos where there are none. Just make sure that everything is readable on your graphic. You could also add patterns and textures to some of these backgrounds, but to keep this simple, I'm going to just stick with stock photos. Again, you might need to edit the templates a little bit more once you get your photos in. Sometimes when you add a photo, the colors don't work very well. We have our stock photos in place and these templates are looking more and more like the Natalie brand. I like to go through each template and give it a little bit of TLC. Sometimes I add some text effects to the text. You can adjust the line spacing or the letter spacing. You can also tweak the colors if you want change the transparency, create a more interesting graphic. You might change the background of something altogether. The most important thing is that your text on your graphics is really, really readable. You can zoom in on stock photos. You can move where the text is located. That's what I love about templates is that you can customize them as little or as much as you like. When you're working with stock photos, it's important to think about how you are going to incorporate the text into your photo. I love photos that incorporate a bit of natural white space because that makes a perfect little area to drop your text. And this is the end result. When it's time to add your own content, these templates will be ready to rock and you're going to be saving tons of time. Having a consistent brand image is an absolute must if you wanna maximize your content and exposure. And let's not forget to mention all of the time that you're going to save designing in Canva. If you want a step-by-step -step breakdown on how you can create a more consistent personal brand image, then be sure to grab my brand and design quick start guide where I'm going to walk you through the whole entire process step-by-step. -step. I'll drop a link to that in the description of the video. For more branding and graphic design tips, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. I cannot wait to see what you create. Bye.